I've worked with a lot of brands before and um, you, you end up getting them reaching out to you, you design stuff for them, then they share it with their creative team and then it gets changed. And I've always, it's always been a situation where I wasn't totally happy with the outcome. A few times I could count maybe on one hand where I really loved it. In terms of creatively, you and I are on the same page where we're on, where we kind of like agree with a lot of things. And there's a lot of stuff that we don't even have to say to each other and we have to understand. Um, I've been one of those people who've always been just very protective of my creative content and what I do and I always strayed away from trying to merchandise my work because at the end of the day I always wanted it to be art first and I think that with both inter iterations of what we've created it's still that strong element of art and it stands on its own as a piece of art. So when you first told me to, to do something that kind of represents me and personal to me, I started thinking about different themes on, in terms of the way I approach my art. And as I started doing research, I ended up stumbling upon the Adinkra charts, which is basically um, symbols that are used in Ghanaian culture in a lot of their textiles and fabrics. And when I saw that, that's when I realized it'd be perfect to go on a hat since it's also an iteration of my art on a textile or fabric. All right, so the piece for this hat, which is this hat right here, which is uh, the hat is the same name as a painting, is Herring E. Bone. It's coming from a painting with the image of a woman wearing a mask. The woman happens to be one of my good friends um, and she's wearing a mask of an eagle, specifically the Filipino eagle. So it's, it's basically Herring E. Bone is the name of the eagle and it's considered the biggest eagle in the world with the widest wingspan, about seven and a half feet. And um, yeah, it's considered the king of the jungle. 